Hey guys, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know how to do this live stream stuff. But I thought I'd jump on here real quick. Uh, I'm on my way to Nevada. I'm doing some work on a gold. I'm just getting ready to leave my driveway and drive that way. But I thought I'd jump on here real quick. The Moonlight Gathering for 2022. Give a little more information for those people that are August 12th and 13th, uh, 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 2022. And what we got happening, trying to read off the, the list here. Friday, Friday during the day up at the Moon Lake Lodge, um, Smith and uh, David Bullock, who's both been on some of my videos, um, I've interviewed them. They're a wealth of knowledge. They're going to be up to the Moon Lake Lodge giving a little, uh, um, some stories. Hey, Terry, love your, love you, brother. Jay Ventura, thanks. Uh, man, I'm not good at doing two things at once. I'm not ambidextrous. I can't, uh, I can't read and talk at the same time. I have a hard time talking and chewing gum. Hey, uh, Emily Thorson. Um, anyway. Native Pride, how you doing? Hey, while, while I'm uh, thinking about it real quick, Will T left me a, a donation, $50, and I didn't have time. I'm working so many hours, I didn't have time to thank him. And, and I go to go back and, and try to thank him, and, and I can't even find the posts even there anymore. I don't, have, I don't know how um, that stuff even works. And he asked me if I got all the money or if Google took some of them. I have no idea how I even get this I'm, I'm just assuming uh, dark Canyon hey Florida I'm just assuming that Google sends it to me when they send me my money for the ads um, choking ghost how you doing so anyways will T I don't know how much of that money I get but I really appreciate it I don't know how else to thank you other than on this video because I can't find the post anywhere. I can see on my email where you left it and then I go there. It says uh, if I'm still stalked by the government. Uh, I don't think uh, they're still stalking me, but you never know. I think they store, they stalk all of us. Man, I don't know how to uh, answer all these so far. They, they pop up, these things pop up, and then they pop right down. I don't know how to get them, but, man, thanks for everybody for watching. But back to Will T. Thank you, Will T. I don't know how to properly thank you except for on this video, and I don't know exactly how I can't get it. Um, Emily, somebody, Emily says she can't wait for the gathering. Emily, stop me and say hi. Can't wait for this either. Anyways, back to, to the gathering. Uh, uh, Kent and Dave will be there from... Uh, September 26th is Utah, Jerusalem. No, it's not Jerusalem, but there's a lot of interesting things went there. Um, right now, I'm in Utah County getting ready to drive. I'm in my truck just getting ready to drive, and I thought, well, I can't drive and read the, any of these comments and uh, do that. Oh, man, Shermanator Osborne, man. Five dollars, thank you, Shermanator, and and I don't know where that money goes to. I don't know if it goes to the AdSense or I don't know how I even get it or what. But thank you, I appreciate it, <laughs> Shermanator. Anyways, David Bullock and and uh, Kent Smith at the Moon Lake. If you're going to the Moon Lake gathering, uh, be sure to go Friday if you're there early Friday from 10 till noon at the Moon Lake Lodge. They'll be talking about all the different interesting things that went on with the Spanish history and the Spaniards and the, and the Lost Roads Mine up there in that area. Um, <laughs> I, um, you know, the Uinta Mountains is a cool place. Uh, whoever said that, they said, are you sure it's not the Garden of Eden? You know, there's some people that think that that's where the four confluences of the river were for the earth, for the Garden of Eden, and that's it. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, Emily Thurston, Mark Robinson is the best. I agree with that. The story's going to end up being, and I missed it. Anyways, uh, don't miss Kent and them at uh, Friday from 10 till noon, and then Friday night from 5 till 10 p.m. Uh, we're going to have Scott Peterson will be our first speaker. Scott and his family actually found a Spanish treasure and they're going to be by accident and they're going to be talking about that and I don't know for sure but I think they might be bringing some of the artifacts, Spanish artifacts that they found. 
So that'll be a good one, then Dave Bollock. Uh, if you've seen some of my uh, videos with Dave, Dave, uh, Dave's family was a mining family. They're his family. Um, September 26th, thanks for all your work. But hey, it's not me, thanks for you guys for watching. Uh, Shulamite, thank you. Anyways, his family, uh, they were the first ones to really track down where the, the Thomas Rhodes's, uh, Caleb Rhodes's map was that Sidney Rhodes had and where it went to, and they offered back in the 50s uh, $10,000 for that map, and then uh, the person who had it changed their mind, but they got a copy of it, and they went out and found, uh, and some strange things happening, happened to him. Well, he, Dave's going to be talking. Jace Ventura, I would love to be going there. Too bad you can't be there, Jace, but I know with gas prices, and it's a long ways away for some people, um, but uh, it's going to be a great time. There's going to be a lot of great people there. There's a lot of people that I have interviewed. Uh, September 26th, you putting in the time, dog. Your work is doing a lot more than you can ever imagine. Um, like I said, I, I just, I'm just the guy lucky enough that uh, gets to record everybody else's stories, you know, and share it with you guys. And so all the credit goes to everybody else. Um, but uh, where was I at? Um, Dave Bullock, uh, his, his family, his dad's family, they had some strange things happening when they found the Lost Roads Mine. Some things happened, and I think he'll be talking about that. Also Friday night, Ryan's Burns. Ryan Burns, he owns, he owns the uh, the ranch right next to to uh, um, Skinwalker Ranch, if you know what that is. And he he's uh, been researching Skinwalker Ranch for a lot of years, and he ended up buying the the uh, ranch right next to it. And there's a lot of strange things that that happens on his property that's right next to the to the to uh, Skinwalker Ranch. Andrew Offred, I'll see you there. Make sure you stop me and say hi. So anyways, you want to hear his story. If you know, if you're watching the show Skinwalker Ranch on uh, the History Channel, um, you want to hear Brian, what he has to say what's going on because he's he gets to observe what goes on there, but he has all his, the strange things that are happening on his property and so, uh, too. And then uh, Utana, you know, great Utana Jessup's a great friend of mine. She's going to be talking about the ancient giants, um, Brewer's Cave, uh, it's going to be a great, another great uh, topic, uh, um, talk that she's going to talk about. So, uh, W W two boof or whoop, buff. Hey, how you doing? Uh, anyways, um, that'll have it for Friday night. Then Saturday, um, starting at 10 a.m., uh, we'll be having a picnic in the park. Um, last year at this thing, you know, it started at 6 and went till dark, and I didn't have time to meet and talk with people because I was too busy. So we decided this year we're going to kind of have a picnic in the park, and we'll have an open mic where people can tell their stories. And there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, people there with a lot of knowledge. And I remember what I was going to say. I was saying that uh, um, uh, our how-tos of YouTube, Terry doing great, thank you. Um, I was going to say that, uh, um, now I forgot what I was going to say again. Uh, dang it. Wait till you get my age, man. You'll have that problem too. Um, Chris Brown, excited to hear all the stories this year. Chris, I guess that means you're coming, man. Great. Um, anyways, the picnic in the park. Native Pride, I'm driving from Venture, California, Thursday to you. Be great meeting you. Hey, make sure you say hi. I'm, uh, I'll am i be driving home from uh, Winnemucca, Nevada, which isn't near as far as you in California, but but uh, this is going to be a great time. Um, Saturday, picnic in the park. Uh, I want to meet and greet with people. And, and there's going to be open mics, so people will tell their stories, and there'll be a lot of a lot of knowledge there. A lot of people that know a lot about the Uinta Mountains, the Spanish treasure hunting there. But we're going to have a lot of other people. Um, September 26. Where is it? This is in uh, uh, Mountain or in uh, Altamont, Utah. Um, the address, and I don't know how to put a flyer up, or I'd do that, but. Uh, on some of my videos that I just posted, I've, I've got the flyer on there, but it's 15911 West, 3850 North, 
Aldemont, Utah. It's in the it's in the city park um, where this is going to be. But uh, we're going to have uh, the picnic in the park. Um, I keep on derail derailing myself, and I don't know what I'm. I can't remember what I was talking about. But but the picnic in the park. You know, I want to meet everybody. Yep, September 26th. Um, it is in Utah because there's a. Yo, know, Utah is my stomping grounds. The U.N. Mountains is my stomping grounds. Um, I just love that area. You know, it's spectacular to me. And there's a lot of history that went on there. You know, from some people saying from the ancients, the Romans, to the Egyptians, the Aztecs, to to the Spanish. Dark Canyon prospecting. Don't get distracted. Man, I want to try and read all you guys' comments because I've, I've really never gone live before and I really don't know how to do this. And I, I just appreciate you guys even just being on and making comments, you know. So, uh, um, and I get distracted easy, man. I, so, but I don't want to forget you guys because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing um, what I'm doing. You know, this is all because of you and the people that I interview. It's not me. It's nothing to do with me. Um, so let's see. Picnic in the park. You know, um, last year we had some relics show up, be things that people had found. So I'm sure um, we'll be having uh, people will be sure and stuff. But some of these people, they don't want to show it to a big crowd. So it just might be, uh, you know, showing it to a few people here and a few people there. So keep your eyes open. You see something going on, you might want to wander over there and just kind of uh, look around and eavesdrop and see what's going on. And like I said, uh, um, the open mic, there's a lot of information there. And there's a lot of people coming that's been on my video. Salvador from, from uh, the Superstition Mountains says he's coming. Um, Dwayne and Donna Woodward, who uh, did a lot of research on the Grand Canyon and, and who was followed by black SUVs that almost ran off the road. They're coming. Um, so there's going to be a lot of people there that you can ask questions to, talk to the people that you've seen their videos on my channel. Um, they'll be there that you can talk to them. And uh, so that's what's happening there during the day. They'll have, uh, I think there's going to be a food truck there. So um, you can get some food there. That the uh, September 26th, are they draining Lake Mead to expose ancient cities? Man, we're just in a hurt for water and it's just draining and, and that is exposing cities and things are getting exposed, you know. A lot of explorations, you know, it's, it's terrible, it's a water crisis, but it's great for explorers to, to go and see what you can find, what was hidden by the, by the September 26th. Water is endless now. Um, thank you, Dark Canyon Prospecting. Thanks. Like I say, it's not me. Um, anyways, uh, picnic in the park. They'll have a food truck there, so if you need to get anything, they're going to have donation. This is free to everybody. Um, so don't think you have to pay. You know, you just got to get yourself there. Um, don't think you have to pay anything, you know, but, you know, they are accepting uh, donations because it's not free to us. It's cost us to rent the park. It's cost us for the porta potties. It's costing us for a bunch of different things. But, uh, you know, this is free to you. But if you want to do donations, um, make them to, to Mark and Kent there, and they're going to have some raffles. People have donated some stuffs for some raffles, and so bring some cash if you think you, you might want to buy some of this raffle stuff and help out. out. But don't think that you need to. Just come, man, and be part of it and, and share in, in what's going on. Uh, Charles. I'm excited to be attending for the first time. Fortunately, I don't have to drive too far. Well, Charles, man, again, say hello. Uh, Saturday night. So that's the picnic in the park. You know, you just uh, don't know what's going to be said and what's going to show up for artifacts or, or uh, you know, keep your ear open and, and your eyes open. But Saturday night from 5 to 10 p.m., first off, we're going to have our mystery speaker. Um... The Skywalker, how you doing? Um, our mystery speaker is the first speaker for Saturday night at five o'clock. Um, you guys don't want to miss the mystery speaker. I uh, I uh, interviewed the mystery speaker quite a while ago, and he didn't want me to put any of this stuff on YouTube, and so I haven't. Um, go team, God, g have fun. Hyperdrive, I missed what you said, hyperdrive, but I'm sure it was something great, and thank you. Um, the mystery speaker, 
you're going to be blown away and I'm not going to tell you everything that he can tell you but come talk to me and I'll point the mystery speaker out to you and I'll give you a few things that you can ask him because he's knowledgeable in a lot of different things and uh, it's going to blow your mind what he's been involved in and 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 uh, it's it's crazy and then I've and I've been teased why aren't we telling uh, who the mystery speaker is there's there's some, some reasons we're not telling who the mystery speaker is and and uh, maybe get with me and I'll, I'll share that but uh, you know this is definitely one person that knows a lot he's he's yeah I'm not gonna say this you know he's been involved in triggering um, a lot of events that's happened and, and ask me about that and I'll tell you and and you can hit him up why um, it is you dark dark canyon prospecting you take the time I don't it goes by too fast I can't I can't say I can't read it fast enough anyways you don't want to mess with the mystery mystery speaker has to say he's he's knowledgeable on a lot of different subjects that I am extremely interested in and then we got uh, alien Dave Dave Rosenfeld he's been uh, researching area 52 he's been on TV he's he's done uh, a lot of great stuff in the UFO community as well as with Skinwalker Ranch and things like that and he's got some interesting things to share with us about Area 52. You've all heard about Area 51 um, but now you're going to learn about Area 52 and then then back to Dave Bullock. Um, Jay Spinchura too. I am going to record the speakers and uh, and put it on unless some of them don't want me to do that. Some of these people they got great stories to tell, and I've got some great stories on video, but I promised them I wouldn't put them on YouTube. This, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see if the mystery speaker will let me put some of this stuff on. Um, this might be, you know, it might be sad, but this might be one of them things that you just got to be there to see. Um, but I'll do my best to put it on. Um, Dirty Work Sink. Hey, I heard there's... There is so cool looking, da 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 da, I missed that, man. It comes up and goes by too fast. Sorry about that. Um, so David Rosenfeld, and then back to David Bullock, talking more about treasure hunting and his family. And then last but not least, um, Dan Lowe, um, who you know, you've seen his videos, my interviews with him. Um, he's a great researcher, a great historian, and dives deep into the mysteries. And so that's kind of the lineup um, other than that, I just hope to, to see everybody out there and uh, make sure you stop and say hi. Last year, I just did not have time to talk to people. Um, this year, I hope I'll have a little bit more time, although I'll be busy still videoing everything. I'm going to be at the picnic in the park, man. I'm going to be in them circles myself, sticking a camera in people's face and videoing the stories. And unless they tell me not to put them on YouTube, they're going on YouTube. So. Um, with that said, man, I appreciate all you guys. You know, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching my videos. Um, I don't, I don't say enough, and, and you know, say enough to appreciate you guys enough, and I, and I need to. Um, and with that said, unless there's any questions um, about this event or something like that, I'm going to be signing up, signing off. And I'm not seeing any more questions. Uh, Dirty Works, uh, cool prizes for donations. Uh, Nick Potts, thanks, Terry, we appreciate it. Thanks, Nick. Um, the donations, um, I know that somebody's donated a beautiful artwork of, of and I'm not sure if it's, a, if it's a cougar or something like that. And there's some, some coins, some gold or silver coins um, being donated um, I'm not sure exactly what's being donated uh, um, I'm not really sure um, this is a surprise to me Mark and Ken are taking Bryce are taking care of all that so it'll uh, be a surprise to me so we'll see I know I'm just bringing some extra money because oh um, Charles gets thanks Alex Rasmussen is the guy that found the Spanish gonna be there the Spanish I didn't I missed what that said um, yes the the guy the family Scott Peterson the family that found all the Spanish stuff he's gonna be one of our speakers if that's what you're asking the Spanish sword um, I don't know who found the Spanish sword I don't know what sword you're talking about there's been a lot of different stuffs found but you never hear about it 
Um, unless, unless you know these people and they trust you, even if you know them and they don't trust you or they don't know that you keep your mouth shut, you're not going to hear anything. They keep it hush hush. And, uh, and so unless you're lucky, you know, you're, you're never going to hear what's been found. And there's been some stuff found. And, and, and I can say this now because the friend of mine who found it has passed away now, but I have a friend that found 400 gold bars. Um, the smallest one was 12 pounds. They weren't pure gold, you know, they was the, the, uh, they was, uh, had a lot of iron in them, silver, copper, uh, lead, stuff like that. But I think it was about, they averaged around 50-something uh, uh, percent gold, you know. Um, but you'll never hear them stories unless you know these people personally because they're, they're, they're on the down low. They don't even want people to know that they're even treasure hunters. They're even doing anything. And uh, that's just kind of how that is. So, uh... Nick Potts is the guy who found the KGC treasure going to be there. Uh, I have no idea who all's showing up. Um, man, somebody, I, I didn't see who you was that said this. It's a dangerous thing. You know, um, we're going to be right next to the Indian Reservation, and there's a lot of stuff on the Indian Reservation. And, uh, you know, you do not want to be caught on the Indian Reservation. It's their property. It's private property. Um, and even though there's a lot of stuff there, it's, you know, it's, it's their property. Unless you've got a guide and one of them with you, you don't want to be in there. You're going to be um, in trouble. But uh, just to say, just recently here, within a month ago, there was uh, a couple that was on uh, a four-wheeler and uh, the, uh, the, the Indian fishing game tried to stop them and they tried out running them um, on their four-wheeler and, and the Indian fishing game shot them. Um, I just seen this on the news, you know, they're in the hospital. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I'm sure the FBI was called in and, and uh, there was no reason I, that I know of why they should have been shot, but really they shouldn't have been trespassing either. So anyways, just don't, um, just don't uh, go on the Indian reservation, you know, just don't. <laughs> Dark Canyon, yeah, I, I agree. I got to get on the road, start heading to Nevada. Um, and so with that said, you know, I appreciate you, all you guys. And uh, with that said, that's a wrap.